everybody welcome to another episode of openly hostile opinions as always i'm your host jay and this is my lovely assistant casey what's up sluts how's it going <laughs> although uh, although it could be argued perhaps casey is the host and i'm the lovely assistant <laughs> either or <laughs> means i'm gonna rape you <laughs> all right well that took a dark turn yes it did so everybody how you doing today i see uh i see jason's in there i saw tager for uh some of the other guys there uh this week's band of the week was uh Dub Terminator. So, for those of you guys who like dubstep, that's, that's uh, a beautiful yeah. name. I'm the Dub Terminator. Dub Terminator is from New Zealand. <laughs> so, uh, that's pretty cool. And, you know, we're, we're open to any kind of music. So, uh, we put a call out on Twitter and uh, Facebook and shit today. But if anybody uh, out there makes music or knows somebody who makes music and owns the rights to their music, uh, hit us up, man. Uh, openly hostile opinions at gmail.com. Uh, so, anyway, this week's. Uh, where the fuck's my damn button? You can never find that fucking button. I'm gonna make it a funky. I'm gonna make it like bright pink on my board. <laughs> All right, beer of the week. I was looking forward to this one. This is Sierra Nevada's 2017 Oktoberfest. They I'm, always make a good one. I've never, I, I never knew. Uh, I was talking to Jay earlier. I never knew Sierra Nevada made an Oktoberfest. So I'm actually really uh, excited to try this because I think Sierra Nevada makes great beer. Um. It's usually very high alcohol content beer too. Yeah, like I've yeah. never known any of their stuff to be very light. Like everything is like seven, eight percent. It seems six point one. Yeah, uh, brewed in collaboration with Bragnas Mishka Burger. <laughs> well, without further ado, let's taste this shit. I think uh, making that name was uh, came up with frying some Jews. <laughs> <laughs> it's German as fuck. Cheers, mate. <laughs> Kraut. Delicious. Hoppy. Hoppy. I figured it would be hoppy. Uh, Sierra Nevada always makes hoppy stuff. I'm not getting a whole lot. I mean, there's a, there's hop there. Oh, there's a hop lot there. Of I, just, I, I didn't think it would. Uh, it's a very, very well-balanced beer. Yeah, though. very well-balanced. It's offset by a good good dose of very malt. Very smooth. Well, Oktoberfest generally yeah, is. Yeah, very smooth. A little hoppy for an Oktoberfest. I know a lot of Oktoberfests aren't this hoppy. So if you're looking for something a little different in your Oktoberfest, yes, Warstuten, Bratwurst, Auschwitz. Striped pajamas. <laughs> <laughs> this um, is a this is perfect to go along with uh, sauerkraut and bratwurst. Yeah, um, <laughs> very smooth. Actually, this is probably one of the best Oktoberfests I, I, I think I've had. But like I said, Sierra Nevada doesn't really make um, bad beer. But like you said, it does start off hoppy and then it has like this nice like crisp nice malt. Yeah, crisp malt taste at the end. I, I really enjoy I like it. it. It's good stuff. Um, if I would rate it, uh, I would probably give it. I'd say four, four and a half out of five uh, stars of David. <laughs> uh, oh, I, I concur. I concur. It's very good. Uh, give it a try. It, it has that hop and malt. Like, yeah, it's a very just a well balanced Oktoberfest beer. Yes, it's not going to light your head up, but it's pretty good. Light your head up. That sounds like something uh, like a new music video. Little John comes out with. Light your head up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Turn down for what? Let your head up. <laughs> yeah, did you ever see the music video for Tune Turn Down for What? Oh, I fucking love it. <laughs> that shit's great. The best part is where he picks up the telephone and he screams Turn Down for What? <laughs> and the cop picks up the phone and his face just melts. <laughs> and he just slams it and the phone shatters. <laughs> yeah. It's like, damn, love that's it. what I look like when I wake up every morning. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great fucking thing. So uh, before we get into the whole the whole meat and potatoes of the show, I want to tell y'all. French fried potatoes. <laughs> Uh, tonight's going to be our uh, after party for the patrons only because we were fucking stupid and forgot to do it last week. Yeah, yeah we completely forgot it was the first of the month. But, hey, uh, we're we're going to do it tonight. So you got a little bit of time left. You got one last hour if you want to become a patron. It only yeah, takes a buck. We're not women, so we're not used to having something come up once a month. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll post a link to the after party show tonight on Patreon. You can watch it. It'd be cool. It'd be fun. We're gonna play. Uh, we're gonna play some games. The we're games. Gonna, we're I gonna, can't wait. I'm excited. Me and Jay have never really 
played competitive games before, so we're gonna play it, the games. In, in all the <laughs> in all the years we have known each other, we have never played a video game together. No, we haven't. So, uh, because because I'm the one making this happen, and I'm the retro gaming fan, we're gonna go with a good good old classic, the SNES uh, version of uh, <laughs> Mortal Kombat Two. Oh, that's my favorite. Two. I think I still know some finishing moves, so we're going to have to see. I'm pretty sure I know Liu Kang's finishing moves. Motherfucker, <laughs> I'm Liu Kang. Hey, man, mirror matches. Or son of All a right. bitch. <laughs> Bic- I, uh, Liu Kang's my man. Bicycle kick. <laughs> <laughs> I always play with Liu Kang, man. I'm, not, I'm no good with anybody else. Uh, anyway, I, I suspect that's going to... Uh, what are you drinking? Well, damn, come in a little earlier. <laughs> nah. Never come early. She'll never come back to you. <laughs> we, uh, all right, Pitbull Beer Master, we are drinking Sierra Nevada's uh, 2017 Oktoberfest. Uh, yeah, if you missed Very it, good. we were talking about it. We rated it four and a half out of five stars of David. Um, <laughs> we, we come to the conclusion. Let's just hammer on that, that casual race. <laughs> we're just making fun of Jewish people today, I guess. Um it's a Speak very for yourself there. <laughs> it's very hoppy at first, not very hoppy, but it has a hoppy uh, it's taste at the beginning, and then it slightly goes off to a crisp, like malty taste. It's actually very well balanced. You know, we I, I got a compliment recently. Really? Yeah, on our beer rating. Somebody who who hates actual beer raters because they can't understand what the fuck they're talking about. They love us yeah, because I, I we talk you, like normal people. I remember you saying that last week that people actually like our beer ratings. I don't know. Well, some people do. They like our beer ratings. <laughs> I never thought that anyone would like this show unless they had an extra chromosome, but <laughs> a lot has come by in a year's time. Yeah. Oh, Jimmy Knapp is here. What's up, Jimmy? How you doing, man? Uh, yeah, hey, thanks for uh, thanks for the retweet earlier today, Jimmy. I appreciate it. I put out a call to action for any uh, bands and music who want to be featured on the show, and uh, Jimmy was gracious enough to retweet that for us, so thank you, Jimmy. Thanks, Jim. Always looking out for us. You got it, man. Anytime. Thank you. No, God bless. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I know you saw the Star Wars trailer today, and I know yeah. you want to talk about it. <laughs> We're uh, talking see about you over here, like scratching <laughs> and it's Star Wars, man. <laughs> and uh, so, 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 be my guest. Go for it. All right. So, anyone you know that gets the nerd at, nerdgasms, okay. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it sounds like a Star Wars character, Captain Nerdgasm. For all you people that don't like Star Wars, <laughs> fuck you. I'm talking about it for a little bit. Last so, night, so should I just get up and go to the other room for a little bit? Uh, last night during Monday Night Football at halftime, they aired the new Star Wars movie, Episode Eight, I think it is, and I think it's called The Last Jedi. I never put two and two together and why it was called The Last Jedi, but watching this trailer. Um, uh, after I masturbated for about 16 times and my dick turned to mashed potatoes, I thought a little bit harder about it, and it looks very evil. I'm very excited. Everything um, – yeah, what's up, Ashley? How you doing? You got evil out of that? Dude, everything from the first – or episode seven, I should say. If, if anyone hasn't watched me and Jay rant, we hated episode seven. We thought it was a huge ripoff of A New Hope. Um J.J. Abrams even said that his favorite movie was A New Hope. Obviously. And, and you could just tell. Like, a droid got plans. They were trying to find the droid. They had to go to a Death Star-like thing and blow it up at the end. It was bullshit. Kylo Ren was awesome at the beginning. No, he wasn't. He, he was, was a dude, Disney princess. He stopped a laser oh, okay. in mid-air. All right, all right. All right, until he took <laughs> his fucking helmet off. And then all of a sudden it's like... Oh look at Jason my... Kylo Red rules. Yeah, he does. I fucking love look Kylo at, Ren. Look at my bouncy, <laughs> my bouncy uh, herbal essences hair. Kylo Ren was the shit, man, and they fucking ruined him. Like I said, um, you know, at the very beginning, he stops this fucking laser bolt in the middle of air, has a fifteen minute conversation while he's holding it there, and then later on in the movie, spoilers, after he kills Han Solo, Chewbacca <laughs> from. You know, Vegas hotel length away. (laughs) (laughs) Shoots him in the stomach, okay? So he just became weak. And then Ray. Here's what it is (laughs) I'm a badass. (laughs) And now I'm a bitch. (laughs) Or the lessons. I got to admit. Way too long for that joke. When he took his helmet off, I got to admit, man, his hairstylist, whoever did his hair, deserves a raise. Motherfucker didn't even have no hat hair. (laughs) I know, dude. He took that Lego helmet off. And he was just like, he had this like beautiful perm of just like, I'd fuck him. But but let's get back to the point. You just want Adam Driver's penis (laughs) in your butt. Kylo Ren's the shit, man. I fucking love him. 
Yeah, um, well, you can have him. He's so a little then, girl. <laughs> he's, a, he's the next Disney princess. <laughs> yeah. So then, that's true. He probably is going to be. So then at the end of the movie, he fights Ray or whatever fuck that bitch's name is, and he loses to her. A girl that's never even, like, held a lightsaber before kicks his ass. And I'm like, what the fuck and, is and, this and yet, And yet you see one trailer and you feel like this is going to be all redeemed. Well, it might be. Because another huge problem I had with Episode Seven was the lack of um, what they did with uh, Captain Phasma. Like they put her in. They a, didn't. They made all this. They made this really nice fucking suit for her. You know, you could see yourself in it. You probably, you know, play, you know, play with yourself a little bit in it. See how big your balls are. And they just threw her in a fucking dumpster. And I'm like, <laughs> they they prom night babied her. <laughs> and I'm just like, what the fuck? And they even hired a well-known actress who plays in Game of Thrones named Christy. I forget what her last name is, but it just upset me. And then, and then, and this, they show Captain Phasma fighting. Um, what's the black guy's name? <laughs> Finn. 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 You mean Jar Jar? <laughs> yeah. Jar Jar. Jar Jar Finn. And I'm like, finally, she's going to get some screen time, man. Like, she's not going to be the prom baby she was in the you know, in episode seven. If I may interject go, for a go second. Right ahead. My, my favorite part of this whole movie is, like, can't we just, like, use the force to find it? It's like, that's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. I know. But it's exactly how it worked <laughs> through the whole movie. I know, because that's what pissed me off. Because Ray, basically, everyone's excuse was, oh, she just beat Kylo because the force was strong with her. The force. I'm like, <laughs> Maybe if J.J. Abrams wasn't focusing on being politically correct. Or maybe we could stop <laughs> fucking writing shit about space wizards. <laughs> yeah, I know. And I just... Saying. So, I have hope for episode eight for two reasons. The Captain Phasma thing, okay, I think they took a lot of advice. And it's funny because Finn looks like he's fighting with that taser thing that the stormtrooper fought him with in seven, where he's like, <laughs> traitor! <laughs> T-R-8-R. <laughs> it looked right. to me like Kylo is going to kill Princess Leia. Well, they kind of had to kill her off, considering she's dead in real yeah. life now. Yeah, yeah and, and that's I did find out that it, as actually all her, she uh, did finish all of it before she went to her uh, stroke or coma or whatever like that. But um, yeah, it just looks evil, man. And one of my favorite parts is where um, Daisy or Daisy—that's her actress name—where Ray is training with Luke Skywalker, and like the Earth's crumbling and shit. And he's like, "I've seen this once before, and I wasn't scared, but I'm scared now." So it looks like. He doesn't train her, and I think that's why it's called Last, Last Jedi, because Luke Skywalker is going to be the Last Jedi. So at the end of the trailer, Daisy seems confused that it looks like Luke just gave up on her. You know, he prom babied her, okay? So it shows the very last scene, and Ray is standing there, and she goes, my whole life I've been looking for someone to help me, you know, figure out what's going on in my life. My place in all this. Yeah, my place in all this. And it just shows Kylo Ren put his hand out, and I'm like... <gasps> fuck Kylo. <gasps> fuck that I'm little Disney like, princess bitch and fuck uh, this movie. Uh, I don't that care happens. about it. I don't care one little bit about it. No, because he here's one of my main things, okay? When Star Wars Episode Seven came out, you had all these fucking fat feminist cunts going, oh, finally, we have an, a, a positive role model, blah, blah, blah. And that's what I mean by J.J. focusing too much on being politically correct about it. Just make movies. That's, that's what you want. I like strong female characters, but when it starts to become an agenda and pressed on you, I can see right through it. And a lot of people can. That's why Ghostbusters wasn't a big deal. But I just want to see all these fucking fat feminist cunts cry when she turns evil. <laughs> I just, I want to see it, dude. I just, I hope she's so evil. And it's just, it was a very good, tra good trailer. Whoever made that trailer, I'd suck your dick, man. Because it just, nothing needed to be said. He just held out his hand, and she was like, Ugh, I'm done. <laughs> Jay I'm done. <laughs> Jason says Casey looks bald with his name banner on his head. If Casey haven't noticed, Casey's going bald. I am bald. <laughs> Wait, look at it. Look at that receding hairline. Mm, mm, you mm. bend down once, show him the back of your head. No, I'm not bending down. I'm not in the NFL. And yet this motherfucker, <laughs> man this motherfucker manages to get laid. Yeah, I do. So why don't we talk about that? <laughs> uh, one of my favorite subjects in this entire show is Casey's ridiculously fucked up sex life. Yeah, we've talked about my how fucked up my sex life is. For, for a quick recap, let's see. We've had a stalker. 
We've had a girl jerk you off in the bathroom of a bar while you're vomiting. Mm -hmm. We've had a girl who you were madly in love with offer to fuck you down behind the freezer of a restaurant that we worked at, and you refused to do it. Uh, is there anything I'm leaving out here? Uh, Besides our latest <laughs> endeavor we're going to discuss? So, <laughs> I told Jay about this, and you know some of my friends know about this. We but... all know about this. <laughs> It's um, I got I got to talk about it. And it's just congratulations, got, folks. Your Casey's uh, your Casey's uh, <laughs> fucking therapy. And, and, and that's the thing, because um, so I was having sex, you know, big surprise uh, with a girl. Uh, <laughs> and let's um, call her the fuck buddy. Yeah, we, we, we thought we'd make things more interesting. OK, so I had a dream a long time ago. That I had rough sex with some made up girl. I don't know who she was. She was hot as fuck though. Um, and I had her wrapped in duct tape, and I had her mouth duct taped. I had her arms duct taped and stuff like that. And it sort of turned me on. <laughs> I never thought I would, you know, have. Yes, Ashley, I'm talking about it. I already asked her. She said it's okay. I talk about it. I won't mention her name. <laughs> I mean, we were gonna talk about it anyway, but yeah. you know, it, it's cool, Ashley. I, I already asked her about it. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna mention her name. But so I had this dream. OK, so I told this girl about it. I was like, look, I had this dream about this. And she's like, well, let's try it out. So we're like, OK, fine. So I duct tape her mouth shut. I, you know, I put some duct tape around her hands and everything. So we start, you know, doing nature's call or whatever you want to call it. And, you know, it got a little rough. OK, some choking, some biting and things like that. Um, <laughs> but then something happened that surprised me. Um, I, I don't know if it surprised her. I think it did. But I got a little caveman in me, and I slapped her, like, right across the face. Like, Chris Brown the fuck out of her. <laughs> like, just fucking molly -whopped her, okay? And I did it twice, okay? And now, I didn't really – it didn't really affect me. I didn't really know what was happening until the next day. <laughs> <coughs> I was babysitting my friend's house because she has a dog. And I was driving to work, and I was just like, holy fuck, I hit a woman twice. And it just, like – I don't know. <laughs> and I didn't really feel that bad because um, I didn't think I hit her that hard. But then I found out through her friends and stuff, I actually made her ears ring. So then just the, the whole moral of not hitting women when you're, you know, older and or your whole life and stuff like that. So it got a little weird. <clears throat> so I just – it's just weird to me that the caveman came out of me and I just like – I went all Chris Brown in this bitch. And I just <laughs> <laughs> see that's the part that gets me is 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 the uh, is the fucked up like feelings that you're going through currently. Chelsea, the, it wasn't my first rough sex experience. It was just I actually I remember it was the it. next. It was I've never slapped. It, it was some next level. Yeah, it was some next level shit. I mean, like, I, I remember hearing stories of him banging some chicks head off of a bathtub because they were fucking in the bathroom. It was bathroom. a toilet, yeah. Like I Oh, I'm sorry, big porcelain <laughs> object. God forbid I picked the wrong porcelain no, object. No, chow, chow, I've always had rough sex, but I just I've never hit a woman across the face. That that's why it surprised me because I've always done this kind of stuff. It's just I've never took it to that. You know level. what 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 is what is like in somebody's past that that's their thing? What do you mean? Like what? What is it? That, you know what? Oh, I she's want fucked. you to slap me the fuck oh, across the face. She didn't say that. I not did just, it. My, not, not I just, did it myself. Yeah, but she liked it. I know, but but the thing is, my but point the thing is, is, like, is like, she knows she's fucked up. It's not she some like it. <laughs> it, it's not some like light light spanking on the ass. Ooh, yeah. I've been a bad bad girl. You straight up fucking like domestic abused her. I know, but the thing is, is I liked it. So what's wrong I with know, me? and that's uh, actually anyone that listens to the shows knows what's wrong. So, with me. <laughs> uh, Cricket, who I haven't seen in a while, got I gotta have a kind of talk with her. I don't know where the hell she's been. Lately. I think I think she has a boyfriend now. Like I think things are pretty serious. I don't know. I don't see her Periscope much. Well, anymore. whatever. I need to have a talk with that bitch because she hasn't been here in a while. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> as, as Cricket so aptly said, "You're Dexter. You just haven't made your first kill yet." <laughs> and I'm starting. Or to have I? Dexter didn't you get caught for seven seasons. <laughs> I'm starting to think that there may be some truth to that whole Dexter thing. No, no. Maybe she should just come out and she'll be like a celebrity. I agree. <laughs> I agree. See, there are there are no secrets on this show. So if any of you happen to be our friends in real life, there are <laughs> everything's fair game. No, see, I already, I already, 
I already talked to the girl about this. Uh, we I think were she, gonna do it anyway. <laughs> she, uh, I texted her earlier today, and I was like, "Look, uh, you know, we're gonna talk about our experience on the show. Uh, don't worry, I won't mention your name or anything like that because I just, I don't know. I had to mention it because I did, I did feel some kind of wrong way about it. <laughs> but have you have you done it since? What's that? Have you done that particular? Thing no, since? no, 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 no. Will you? I don't know. And, that, and that's what I'm saying. Like, the caveman came out of me. It, it was like, like, mm, ugh, ugh, slap woman, slap her now. Like, <laughs> ugh, want girl, ugh, take girl. Yeah, it's just. Kind of like the bitch who jerked you off in the bathroom. Yeah, like, I just, and see, that's the thing. Like, it doesn't. Wow, really... you guys aren't giving shit away at all in the <laughs> chat, are you? It just doesn't surprise me because, like I said, I've had so many fucked up sexual experiences. It's just more of a moral situation because you're told not to, you know, hit women your whole life. And, you know, but when during you, when you're having sex, you know, emotions get thrown around and shit. The little that I have left you in know, his my, body. My wife likes a little bit of a little, little bit of rough handling now. Yeah, but did you ever slap her across the face? I haven't, but I can see her <laughs> enjoying it. He's like, I haven't. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't, but I can see her enjoying it. Yeah, I just, I don't know. Uh, it was just weird. And like well, I said. Well, way to call it out, Jay. You guys are the ones fucking doing it. It ain't me. <laughs> don't look at me. Has Casey been pegged? No, I'm not into that stuff. Yeah. I like giving the abuse. I don't like receiving it. Like, you if, know what's a, you know what's a fun <clears throat> one? What's that? Just grabbing a hold of a tit and just. Oh, I do that slapping all the time. A tit. I slap titties. I love slapping titties, man. You got to you got to get them good one, good size ones. Where you can just grab a big old handful and then slap the titty. I think the perfect size boobs are like C's, I would say. Uh, they're just a good amount of handful and you just grab it like you're holding a globe and you're just like smack. <laughs> uh, Kristen Jester 1234 says hostile opinions. I had a dream that I was in flatliners from 1990s. Um Okay. <laughs> Do you want to elaborate? I actually uh, saw the movie. Um, uh, not the movie. But oh, the new... my God. What? Jason's like <laughs> in the fucking chat. You know, he's a cock. <laughs> oh, God. Are you are you are you really you really doing that? Don't listen to Jason. He's just better. Fucking he hates his life. <laughs> fucking fucking our own personal Steve Bannon here. <laughs> yeah. Um, I completely forgot what I was talking about. <laughs> oh uh, yeah, I, I saw the, the new bitch you slapped. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the new Flatliners. I guess it's horrible. It got zero percent of Rotten Tomatoes. It's like garbage. But that's the thing. That's why uh, you just don't mess with movies. You just don't mess with. Cloud. Are you Gee, done? Already? I think I like this beer. Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. So that's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> so we got something different to do today. I was gonna wait to do this at the end, but I wanted to see him suffer for a while. Suffer. <laughs> Casey, a while back, promised he would try Sriracha on the show because <laughs> he had heard such good things about it and never tasted it, and I was appalled. Uh, and it had been weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks, and we forgot. However, now, brought to you unofficially, of course, by the rooster himself. <laughs> the rooster Casey himself. is going to sample some Hoi Fong Sriracha sauce. Sriracha. I put it on everything. Sriracha. Dude, I, a, do you I drink this song? shit. There's yeah. a song called that. Yeah, it's called Sriracha. Well, I, drink, I drink this shit. You know, that, that starts an interesting debate. While Casey loads up his spoon here and prepares, I fucking, I refrigerate mine because there's a bunch of sugar in it. Do you guys refrigerate yours or do you leave it out? Well, my penis? The, the oh, we're sriracha. talking about Sriracha. Sorry. Like, I don't think it says anywhere on there that you should refrigerate. No, it says store in a cool, dry place, but I refrigerate mine. Yeah, uh, I've never tried sriracha. Uh, Jay's been meaning to bring this for a while so I could try it. Um, this is my personal stash right here. I should have had some french fries or something to put it on, but I don't have anything because I never really go grocery shopping. So um, I just got a spoon here because I love spooning. And uh, I'm just going to try some sriracha here. I'm sort of scared. <laughs> it's delicious. I know. But what if I don't like it? I dip french fries in that shit. What if I don't like it? Well, then I guess you're going to take a big old swig of beer and r wash your mouth out. Oh, man. So here we are for the first time. I'm going to try sriracha. <laughs> Hoi Fung rooster sauce. Um, spicier than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> you pussy. Woo. <laughs> that is, oh, man. <coughs> That is actually pretty spicy. Tabasco kicks that shit Did you put extra out. stuff in that? No. You fucking liar. Oh, man. <laughs> Get him over here fucking drenching his mouth like a fucking titty. Oh, my eyes are watering. Is it usually that spicy? 
Oh my god. If you think this is spicy. Ah, I have huge nostrils. Now my nose is going to start leaking. Oh my god, my eyes are watering. Why would you do this to me? Don't make me slap you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm, I'm afraid I'll be able to oh, take it at this man. point. I don't have any tissues. I might have to blow my nose with this notepad. Oh man. Such a bitch. It's, um, it's very Asian tasting, if that makes any sense. Well, this is the Americanized bullshit version. Oh, really? Sriracha. Like, there's there's real shit. It's made with, like... Uh, is there, like, teriyaki or soy sauce or anything in it? No, it's mostly just fresh uh, fresh red uh, Tabasco peppers. Or okay. not Tabasco peppers. Uh, jalapenos with sugar and garlic Ooh. and stuff. That's a lot spicier than I thought it would be. Oh, Jesus. God, you're a wuss. Oh, man. Tuffy agrees. Ooh. Who's Tuffy? Tuffy. Oh, I thought you said Tuffy. Sorry, well, that's his. I can't screen. hear. I can't hear right now. My mouth is burning. Ugh. I'm shocked. Oh, I haven't even taken a drink yet, you bitch. That's weird, man. I only took one because I can't fucking think straight right now. <laughs> I just wasn't expecting it to be that spicy. If I'm expecting something, but it's not. It, yeah, it is. Ugh. Oh no, people are different. Oh lordy. <laughs> oh man. Like Tabasco is a lot hotter than this. It, no. Nope. Because I eat Tabasco you know what I think pizza. It is? You know what I think it is? This is thick, uh -huh. so it like sticks to the, your mouth. So it's like my penis. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I think it sticks to your mouth as opposed to like Tabasco. Which yeah, because like I put Tabasco on everything. I put it on pizza, even French fries. Tabasco is way hotter than that. See, I don't think it is. Maybe it's because it wasn't on anything. Because like you got to think. That's probably it because, you know, pizza, you, know, you got cheese, the, you got the, the dairy, dough, the cheese. Yeah, it's cutting yeah. it all. I just think that's very, very, I don't know. But did you did you get the sweetness and the garlic? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's That's very why it's so good. It's the sweet and the garlic Ooh. and uh, it'd be good on like clams or like oysters or something. It's awesome on pizza. Yeah, I like, did, like I said, I dip French fries in it. Yeah, I don't know. It's just not what I was expecting because at first you taste the the sweet the you know. The, the Asian, the Oriental flavors, if that's what you want to call it. And then all of a sudden, the fucking, you know, whatever those things are to rate heat, fucks you in the ass. Scovilles. Yeah, the Scoville unit pulls out its pants, grabs you by the hair, say it's going in dry, and he fucks you. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't think it's very hot personally, but. Well, there you go. You've had it. Yes, yeah, so I've tried sriracha like for the now. first time. It's uh, very it's very different than like you, you know a vinegar based hot sauce. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't go my go out of my way for it. <laughs> I don't know. I just That's like because it's your first taste. You gotta you gotta yeah. ease into it with food. I I would just use regular like straight just Tabasco. Tabasco's fine with me. I don't know if if, if this is the only thing I had. Of course, I would use it. Try it on pizza. Yeah, I, actually, I think that's what I'm gonna do next time I have pizza. I think I'm gonna try it on pizza. It's worth having here. Trust me. Yeah. Do you put it on French fries? I think it would I be good. I put it on everything. Yeah, sriracha. I Bur put it on you everything. Know is, you know what else this is really good on is uh, fried potatoes and onions. Did you ever have uh, food sex with this? <laughs> Did you ever pour this on some titties and lick it off? <laughs> um, generally, you stay away from things that are spicy. <laughs> Actually, I have a friend that I play World of Warcraft with, and she um, went out to eat with her boyfriend, and they had hot wings, and he did not wash his mouth off, and he ate her out. And she said it was, like, one of the worst pains she's ever been in. <laughs> and that's just from, you know, the residue of the, you know, hot yeah. sauce. That's not actual hot sauce being on her, you know, panty hamster. Oh, God, Jason. It, Jason's uh, misspelling. Uh, Szechuan dipping sauce is the way to go. So, I actually wanted to bring that up because so did I. It, it, it's a big deal right now. If anyone is a Rick and Morty fan, I love Rick and Morty. Um there's many reasons why people like it. People say that it's a very intelligent show, and it sort of is, but I like it because Rick is a miserable piece of shit like I am. Well, um, <laughs> you know, the, the people who are obsessed with this shit miss the entire point of the show. Like, it's basically the entire point of Rick is nothing Nothing matters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, he's willing to throw his whole fucking family under the bus for something as trivial as McDonald's sauce. <laughs> but there's this episode where... He is inside of his own brain, and he's watching where his wife dies, and that's why he's such a miserable piece of shit, because his wife was taken from him, so he believes, you know, that the world means nothing, living means nothing, because it's just taken away from you anyways. But uh, they stopped by McDonald's to get this, uh, such, how do you say? Szechuan. Szechuan sauce that was a promotion for a Milan Disney movie. And they never came out with it again. So during this time, 
when this happens, it's the only time Rick can go and get this Szechuan sauce. Szechuan. Szechuan sauce. And Rick watches his whole family die or whatever like that, and the alien that's eating it like completely ignores it and just goes, God, this fucking sauce is amazing. See, the funniest part about it is uh, for those of you who are actually old enough to remember the Szechuan sauce, it's like shitty teriyaki. It's not even good. <laughs> I know. It's not even that great. <laughs> it's just people are making such a big deal about it. Because yeah, because of Rick and Morty. Because That's all right. It's a good show. I like Rick and Morty. But it's getting to the point where so many people are complaining and tweeting to McDonald's. McDonald's is going to actually bring it back. Well, you know, it's, uh, well, they did. <laughs> they brought it back for one day. I know, I, but now they're going to bring it back oh, permanently. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gonna, well, they're not permanently, but they're going to do it again. I think it, it is permanently because so many people were pissed off that they only released it for the day. Don't, I, well, I, you I'm, know, I, what a surprise that that went bad. <laughs> <coughs> oh, Jesus, sorry. No, no, he, he missed uh, my wife's on. No, Jason misspelled Szechuan. <laughs> I'm just fucking with him because because this is a I'm being class. a grammar Nazi. <laughs> I fucking hate grammar Nazis. <laughs> I know that's why I did it. It's, it's like the McRib. I've never had the McRib, but if it's like those shitty Swanson rib sandwiches, <laughs> ribs you can buy. At, uh, but if store. anyone remembers, um, I think during the late 2000s, I mean, early 2000s, uh, McDonald's actually had hot dogs. <laughs> They were the grossest fucking things I've ever eaten in my life. They were so disgusting, and they've never released them again. They only had them for like a week, <laughs> and I know why, because they were fucking garbage. Burger King did it recently. Really? Yeah, uh, I think they have hot – I think they still do probably. Actually, I think they do because um, I wrote an article for our page about these fast food items, and, and I think I did read about they still do sell hot dogs. It's one of those um, uh, BK – palaces or whatever the fuck they're called that are like uh no no, no they had them at our local one. Oh, really but i think they only the oh okay all right maybe they do because i think i did read that uh pizza i know over in like iraq or something have hot dog crust pizzas i i would eat that like you peel the like it's a hot dog in a bun as the crust and you just peel it off and you eat a hot dog somebody in the chat mama bear eight Two o four. I'm just calling you mama bear from now on because it's easier mama, uh, bear. mama bear said that they still do so uh, Jason brought up the McDLT. I remember that. The fuck is the McDLT? It was basically just a burger sandwich that they had where they kept the uh, lettuce and shit separate so it would stay cold and crisp. And then, oh my then you God. assembled it yourself. Oh, that's my what the McDLT. What is this was. a Lego set? What are we doing here? Kind of. <laughs> so fucking weird. That's so funny that you brought that up though because I was talking with uh, Ashley, the neighbor, about this today when we were on our way from um, back from Hoopla's. I won, I won things again. I won a rainbow monkey, and I won a ball. And, it, and this time it didn't take me 30 fucking dollars to win the goddamn monkey. <laughs> of course, what's going to end up happening is every time we slide by, that fucking monkey's going to fall as well as no, the bear. No, I, I put him up there pretty. Yeah, see that fucking bear right there? That little cocksucker spent like 30 bucks on winning that fucking piece of shit. <laughs> well, I expected it was Jay to bring up the fans are missing the point of Rick and Morty elitist. <laughs> Jason loves fucking with me. Oh, yeah. That's Jason, good. when the hell are you going to come over and co-host with us again? <laughs> we, hey, need, man. we need Jason. Hey, here. man, I'm leaving to go to California on, on Halloween, so he could be your co- co-host then. We got, you know, Jason, you know, this American loving person, and then we got Jay the commie. The commie. <laughs> <laughs> Shit fucking cracks me up. Anyway, uh, I, I, already, I already volunteered the wife. Oh, you volunteered the wife. I don- volunteered the wife. Yeah, I'm going to She's California. She's going to be a costume. So, guys, don't miss me too much, but the week of the 31st of Halloween, I won't be here. So try not to miss this sexual body for too long. <laughs> no one's going to care. I know. <laughs> <laughs> the only time they're going to care is when they go to our YouTube video to watch the uh, replay. And they realize that I can't edit videos. <laughs> they're going to be like, shit. Casey did not edit this. No, they're, they're, they're probably going to be like, where's that sour cream looking motherfucker? Apparently, my wife would prefer Jason co-host on Halloween. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> It would, it would probably just uh, – if you co-host with Jason, it would probably just be you two – Arguing? Arguing about the music. The whole time? Yeah, about music probably. No, about everything. <laughs> about everything. <laughs> Jason just likes to argue with me based upon the fact that I, I, I believe in something, anything, whatever it is. <laughs> if I like a band, Jason hates it. <laughs> if, yeah. if I have a political viewpoint, Jason hates it. If I like a particular type of food, Jason hates it. <laughs> I think you guys agree on liking the misfits. That's about it. Uh, that and hell yeah, for some reason. It's Satan's night. Yeah, Jason, 
Jason is a Satanist. <laughs> he loves Halloween. Uh, I don't get what the big deal is. I think I talked a, about that a little bit last week, but I just I've never really gotten into Halloween. I've never well, even carved a pumpkin before. Well, you just had a great uh, segue into something I wanted to talk about this week, oh, so good. I'm going to go ahead and use the opportunity. Go right ahead, baby. Uh, so a Satanist, <laughs> a Satanist wins transfer of her abortion rights quick case to the Missouri Supreme Court. I fucking love this, not because I support abortion, not because of. Uh, uh, that I hate Christianity. Yeah, you gotta but, be clear these days because everything you do is fucking wrong. Right, right, Jesus. right. I just love this because I think uh, the vast majority of, uh, you know, the so called good Christians are a bunch of fucking judgmental douchebags. So I absolutely, <laughs> there it is. I absolutely there it is. <laughs> love this. Uh, so this chick, you know, uh, in Missouri. Where the hell is it here? Oh, she's identified as Mary Doe in the court documents. <laughs> Mary Doe. Anyway, so uh, because of Missouri's bullshit-ass archaic laws about uh, getting getting a an abortion, which is legal in this country, whether or not you have a moral obligation against it, which, uh, you know, if you have a moral thing against it, I completely understand because I would never want one myself. But the point, fact of the matter is, Anyway, it, it, it's legal, so deal with it. But anyway, uh, so uh, they have to view an active ultrasound, sign a Something form. Combo. Yeah, sign a form pledging that they've read a booklet that includes the line, the life of each human being begins at conception. Abortion will terminate the life of a separate, unique, living human being. Anyway, so uh, she, as a Satanist, uh, said it took it to court based upon her religious beliefs. <laughs> Basically says, but my beliefs say that that shit's all wrong. <laughs> so if uh, if your beliefs can be protected by our states in the court of law, shouldn't my beliefs be protected too? And I just love this shit because uh, you know I don't want to sit sit back, eat popcorn, and watch it all play <laughs> out. <laughs> so so she had an abortion and she was going to get in trouble for it. Is that what you were saying? Or she wanted an abortion? And they said no. No, no, no. It's just like you can't tell somebody no abortion because it's legal. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's just that they have to go through a ridiculous fucking process where they have to read this crap. Uh, propaganda, essentially. They have to read propaganda. They have that you have to look at an ultrasound of your your fetus. You know? So you can be like, oh, it's alive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, it, it, How, exactly. That, that doesn't fucking work. I look in the mirror every morning. I want to abort myself. How in the fuck does that work? <laughs> yeah, I want a really late-term abortion on you. <laughs> I, dude, I don't give a fuck. Put the hanger right here, baby. <laughs> but anyway, I just love shit like this. I Just, I, like, just like I loved uh, when people were saying that they had the religious freedom to display the Ten Commandments in front of a courthouse and then the fucking Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster come in. Like, <laughs> we, we deserve to have our idols put on this. <laughs> you know, I just love shit like that. It makes me laugh. Yeah, I know. It's, uh... it's, it's just fun. It's like... It's like pulling out the pin on the grenade, and tossing it, and watching it go. <laughs> I just love that shit. No, so that... I'm curious. I'm gonna watch this, and if I get oh, any, so, so a lot of it's still going on. Oh yeah, it's still going on. It's gone to the uh, Supreme Court for Missouri. Oh my and, god. Uh, so Missouri Supreme Court may rule on it, or they may decline, and it may get pushed up higher into the courts. It'd be interesting to see, from a political standpoint, it'd be interesting to see if it makes it all the way to our U.S. Supreme Court. Because if it does, then whatever ruling there would pretty much trump any state rules. Mm -hmm. uh, apparently, Mama Bear is full of Missouri. You know, when I used to drive truck, we called it Misery. <laughs> <laughs> it's that bad? Uh, it's miles and miles and miles and miles of soybean fields, pretty much. Soybean fields? Oh, my God. There's so many soybean fields. I never knew that. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> so, corn and soybeans. And then, then you see soybeans and corn. Jay said Trump. <laughs> Jason. <laughs> You would okay. Look. Have you seen Jason's new shirt? I don't really. You would, it, it's fucking Donald Trump with like gold teeth, and he's like he looks like <laughs> he looks like a present guy, and he has all these money tattoos and shit. It's actually pretty fucking funny. Well, you guys, you guys are gonna love something that's coming up in the next couple of weeks. I can't reveal it yet because I'm under obligation to not reveal it due to security issues. However, uh, you guys are gonna love something that's coming up in the next few weeks. Wait, what? <laughs> I don't even think I, I know about it. I talked about it with you. You did? Well, well, I'll remind you after the show. No, write it down. No, no, no I'll remind no, you after the show. No, write it down. I want to know. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Security reasons. Yes, yes. 
It's a security issue. We can't reveal it yet. I don't. I, I really don't know what he's talking about. This is sort of, uh, you know, turning me on a little bit. Don't worry, Jay. I won't slap you. <laughs> <laughs> I have no. Yeah, I have no idea. Maybe you did bring it up to me, and I just was. I don't know on drugs or something like that. Do um, not read it out loud because I know you do that. Oh, did he say yes? Yeah, yeah, he said yes. So in uh, probably the next few weeks, that's gonna happen. Are you so that, So there's something super, oh super God. awesome coming up soon. Soon that you guys are gonna wanna make oh sure you God. subscribe. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe. I didn't know he said yes. Oh yeah, he said yes. It's uh, it's a super special guest we're gonna have on. <laughs> oh, <Jesus> anyway, <laughs> anyway, anyway. Um, moving moving right along. Do you have anything uh, else that you want to talk about? Uh, no, not really. Actually, I brought up everything I was going to talk about. Star Wars, um, me getting caveman on a bitch, slapping her across the face during sex, and the success she wants off. What, what, what <laughs> do we got? Another 15 minutes or 20 minutes or something? Actually, yeah, we have about 14 minutes. Okay, great, great, great. Well, th- I got plenty of time to talk about the other thing that I saw in the news today that I, or this week that I wanted to talk about. So, A Vegan's Life is Upended. This is the, hu- this is the, the, the headline from Ars Technica. <coughs> Which is a website I generally respect because I'm a big tech nerd, even though you wouldn't know it by how badly we run our channel. <laughs> but anyway, uh, so Vegan's Life is upended after Facebook ran about Carnus killed in Vegas. Oh, God, no. Not her life being upended after she said some horrible shit. <gasps> that does, Jesus me. That doesn't happen in the United States. Call the <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so here's the story. A 60-year-old Pennsylvania vegan, because of course it's a Pennsylvania vegan. We're getting as bad as Florida with a crazy shit anymore. Yeah, we are. Uh, she said she's receiving death threats and abusive phone calls. And uh, Jason says, fuck that bitch. Yeah, fuck that bitch. <laughs> she was forced to hide her Mother Nature vegan cuisine food truck, because that's how she makes her living. Following her comments on Facebook, mocking the deaths of dozens of L.A. Vegas concert goers. Uh, by why why does that what does that have to even do with being vegan or anything i'm getting there jesus christ okay so this is the post that she put on facebook let's see what you guys think go ahead all you listening here see what see what you think if this is an appropriate response to something that happened like that jesus in vegas titty fucking christ and i quote yes i am jaded 59 meat eaters dead how many animals will live because of this under her post, Jensen eventually commented, I don't give a fuck about carnists anymore. Carnists. Do you really think that is a fucking appropriate response? So, I, I want to know a question here. Did she go up to these 59 people, why they were dead, and I don't know, maybe flatline herself because the movie came out, go into their spiritual realm and ask them if they even ate meat? What if like 10 of these people were vegetarians? Like, uh, they were at a they they were at a country music festival. They were not who, vegetarians. Who, who fucking knows though? She's assuming, and that's one of the problems with you know people today. They read so much and are so much brainwashed by shit today. They just assume everything. They just lump everyone in at the same Picks time. Picks an ass out of you and me. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Uh, I just I, like it's fucking retarded. I just I don't. I don't get it. I agree with Mama Bear. I think the lack of meat messed with her brain. <laughs> Probably. Who fucking knows? Like, so, and, and this is also what I'm saying about people today. Today, people think everything is about them so much. Oh, my God, they do. She took that way from left field and was like, you know what? It's because they ate meat. No. Yeah. No, like, it's not. It be- probably has like it had nothing to do with that. And she I'm never made gonna it. Award in edgewise. No, fuck it. She's on a fucking. She rant. made it about herself. She and, and, and all this shit on Facebook and all this bullshit, oh, rip, our prayers are with you, bitch shit. It's about them. It's, it's basically saying, hey, it's a tragedy that all these people died, but today, don't forget about me. Don't forget about me. It's selfishness. It's all it is. Some girl took a, a crazed man shooting 59 people and killing them about me, so she made it about herself. She's a scum bucket. She deserves to be aborted. <laughs> uh, uh, Fuck a piece. I'm out. <laughs> on, the, on the other hand, uh, I just people, she didn't say that he shot them because they were meat eaters. I'm you know what I mean. You, you get what I mean. Any smart no, person she can just, figure it out, can problem she's, solve she's that. Saying, you know what I'm talking about. Yeah, she's saying she couldn't possibly have empathy for them. Because, because when she doesn't know the people personally they, at all, 
and she thinks they all eat meat. Yeah, good job. Good job, <laughs> bitch. I hope you fucking... Is it, I, isn't I hope the you... lack of empathy for people who died pretty much a definition of uh, sociopathic? See, the problem Somebody is... Somebody smarter than me in the comments no, confirm. And there's no sna- natural selection anymore, so the world is full... Apparently there is, and it was a guy <laughs> in a fucking Vegas hotel. <laughs> you fucking piece of shit. <laughs> and Jason thinks I'm a fucking asshole. No, seriously. This tofu, this tofu eaten cunt. I hope you choke on the next tofu block you eat because you're fucking retarded. And this is why I wish natural selection still existed. If, if you can't see, you can't hunt, you die. So we have this world filled with miserable fucking crazy ass people because everyone, everyone gets to live these days. Everyone gets to live. Hey, you got herpes? We have a way to get rid of that. Hey, you have AIDS? Take this fucking pill and buy this U2 album. <laughs> you know? Like, <laughs> what's wrong with U2? Where, why'd you go there? <laughs> because U2 always is like, U2 is actually really, really helped out the AIDS movement. Well, not, well, not, giving, Bono, not giving AIDS. Bono I mean, in general. Yeah, like, you know, he, he's actually helped with today that if you have AIDS, you can basically live with just taking two pills a day. And he helped with that. He helped fund it and all this stuff like that. And then, you, then of course, you get scumbags like Martin, Martin uh, Scarelli, Scarelli, whatever the hell his name is. <laughs> the, the pharma bro who would uh, take that shit and make it super expensive. Yeah, and, and, and the funny bag. thing is, is the guy goes to jail not for doing that, but for ripping off rich people. Hmm. Of course. <laughs> you know, uh, although I do uh, – I do think it's kind of hilarious. Uh, some of some of the members of the Wu Tang Clan have claimed that the the copy of uh, One Night in Shaolin that was supposed to be the super exclusive, one person only owned it uh, Wu Tang album said uh, when I when I contributed vocals to this nobody told me it was a, a Wu Tang album. <laughs> I was just doing it for RZA or whatever the, whoever the hell it was. Yeah, that's probably so, some report you want to mention. So according to them, they're really not. It wasn't really a Wu Tang album, <laughs> which I think is kind of hilarious because fuck that guy. Yeah, I don't know. Wu Tang's Wu Tang's pretty funny. Wu Tang ain't nothing. Old DB, old DB, old DB's Rest dead. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, old DB. Yeah, Wu Tang ain't nothing to fuck with. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that's my rant for today. Fuck you, vegan cunt. <laughs> <laughs> I just I hate people. I just I can't like I had a really nice day today. I hung out with uh, Ashley, the neighbor and her kid. We went to Hoopla's. We played a bunch of video games. Hoopla's would be like our version of a Chuck E. Cheese. Yeah, it's like an adult version. If anyone knows what a Dave and Buster's is, it's like that. There's a bunch of kids games. There's beer. There's a bar and stuff like that. They have pretty good food and everything. And I was all happy. And then I come and I listen to some vegan shit saying these 59 people in Vegas deserve to die because they were meat eaters. Jesus Christ. Bring back natural selection please please all these futuristic movies i see of if you're not smart they just kill you can we bring that back <laughs> <laughs> thank you jason jason says shame on a nigga who run game on a nigga <laughs> i hope i don't you know what damn it <laughs> yeah that probably flagged that's iTunes. probably gonna fucking get flagged on itunes i'm sorry no actually i remember a long time ago there was a story where a church printed off. Yeah, um, I, I know, but that was early on. We <laughs> we actually have listeners now, uh, so if one of them gets offended, I probably should have saved that for tonight's hangout after party that we're gonna do tonight for patrons only. You still have time; it's only a dollar. Yes. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting good at this whole marketing thing. Yeah, mar- yeah marketing, whatever. Like what, what what Kelly Hicks says or whatever. Mar- marketing people deserve to die. <laughs> That was Bill Hicks. Whatever. Kelly Hicks. His name was Hicks. Bill Hicks. My God, you should go kick your own ass for that. No. To be no. repentant. No. Fuck you, Jay. You deserve to die because you eat meat. <laughs> I didn't. I, just, for, I, I didn't for a little while. Yeah, me too. I thought I just heard it all. I just can't believe it. It reminds me of that bitch that walked into a Chick-fil-A and stood on people's tables that were eating and started screaming about killing chickens as murder. It's like, you're not doing anything at that point. Like I said, you're making it about yourself because everyone was filming it. They put it on YouTube. And it's just like, you're ruining a bunch of... I don't like a yeah, exactly. She probably stood on game. some table where a guy fucking hates his job because his wife left him, so he has to work this shit job just to pay child support. And you know what he was looking forward to all day? Eating this fucking greasy ass smelly piece of shit fucking hemorrhoid kfc chick-fil-a piece of shit sandwich and you had to ruin it by staying on his fucking table you fucking cunt 
I'm done. Do you understand that? I'm fucking done. I hate people. (laughs) And we're done. Do your credits or whatever you have to do. (laughs) I'm fucking done today. You know what? Next week, next week, I'm eating a fucking steak. I'm eating a steak right on the goddamn show. And every time I eat it, I'm going to say, fuck you, whatever your name is. (laughs) All right. So, anyway, uh, we got some pretty cool merchandise for those of you guys who would like to support the channel in some way. Uh, You can uh, buy one of our new shirts we have up until Halloween only. You're running out of time if you want to get one. The No Lives Matter shirt with the hockey masked killer in place of our cute little ad guy here. <laughs> He'll, there's, a, there's a hockey masked killer who's currently trademarked by New Line Cinema, so I can't say the name of it. <laughs> uh, but it's uh, our No Lives Matter t-shirt. You can only get it up until Halloween. After that, it's gone. You should play your sound effect. It's gone. Where, where the hell is it? <laughs> I don't. I don't know. I don't say. I don't do that sound effect often. <laughs> you did a lot more than I. Th- Every time you mention Halloween, you should be playing that, man. I know. I really should. <laughs> you I really, can't find it. You really? Do you still have it? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I got rid of it. Just start hitting stuff and don't play. <laughs> there, there we go. There we go. That's so, our Halloween sound effect. Yes. Yes. Uh, Amanda, if you're if you're co-hosting with me still on Halloween, you're gonna hear this a lot. <laughs> Like every five seconds, I'm not lying. <laughs> anyway, uh, so so our No Lives Matter shirt, it's only available until Halloween. Get it while you still can. We also have the Stupidity Should Be Painful shirt because, come on, it should be, really. Yeah. Uh, I'm pretty proud of that one. That's a cool shirt. Uh, we're getting ready to release a special edition uh, Jason stands for the national anthem, by the way. Uh, thanks for sharing. <laughs> uh, we're re- getting ready to release a special edition uh, shirt for Christmas coming up pretty soon, too. So you're going to want to look out for that. Uh, follow us on Twitter. Follow us on uh, Facebook. Follow us on Google Plus. Uh, to rip off Lena, don't follow us in real life because that'd be creepy. <laughs> Uh, if you have anything you want us to know, you got a band you want us to listen to to be a band of the week. Uh Send us an email at openlyhostileopinions at gmail.com. If you're watching us on YouTube, please hit like. Please hit subscribe. That would help us a lot. Uh, Thank you to everybody who makes this possible. Our patrons, our board of badasses. Uh, We couldn't do this shit without you guys. And for those of you who want some extra special, exclusive content, like what's going on tonight after this show is over with, uh, please become a patron. It's literally like four bucks a month. You probably spend more than that on a Starbucks coffee. So if you can, uh, spare the couple of dollars, join us on Patreon's patreon.com slash openly hostile opinions. We will see you all next week. And for those of you who are patrons and will be joining us on the Patreon hangout after party, we will see you in probably about 10, 15 minutes. See y'all later. Thank you. Have a good one. Peace. This has been the Openly Hostile Opinions Podcast. (laughs) We are available on YouTube, Google Play, iTunes, and your favorite podcast app. Be sure to like, subscribe, rate, and comment. If you want to help make all this possible, become a patron at patreon.com slash openly hostile opinions. I don't see you. Good afternoon, good evening, and good night.